does it ever make sense to rent and buy a new launch? Do you know that by knowing how to rent correctly, you could profit close to half a million more than others? In this video, I'm going to share with you how to rent strategically. Hello everyone, I'm Christina and welcome to my channel. A while ago, I met up with a client who was looking to buy a new launch project and rent a place while waiting for the place to be built. He was told by many people that new launch property is the way to maximize his profit and he shared with me about his plan. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I have discussed with my client who wants to make the safest move and maximize his profit while maintaining his lifestyle. I will use three case studies to illustrate on different scenarios and hopefully after this, you will be like my client knowing how to rent and buy the right property to maximize your profit. So before I could share more, could you like and subscribe to my channel so that my content will reach out to more people? At first, my client told me he wants to rent a 2 bed plus study unit at Silver Sea, a 5-year-old condo in District 15, and at the same time buy a new launch 2 bed plus study unit in the same district. Just like many other people that I have met, he assumed that both properties are of the same category, therefore renting at Silver Sea will be comfortable and since he is buying a new launch property, it will be profitable to him. However, I disagree and pull out last 5 years data to give him an illustration on his plan. Let's break the numbers. For his rental portion, if he has chosen to sign a yearly renewal lease, his first year lease would be a monthly rental of 4500 from May 2019 to April 2020, followed by another one year lease at 4000 per month from May 2020 to April 2021. As rental price started to increase in 2021, he will be paying 4700 per month from May 2021 to April 2022, then 5000 per month from May 2022 to April 2023, and lastly, 6000 per month from May 2023 to January 2024. Over these 5 years, he will have paid a total rental of $272,400. Now, for his buying portion, I picked a new launch project back in 2019, Amber Park. Let's see how Amber Park has performed. A two-bedroom plus study unit was bought in May 2019 for approximately $1.8 million and was sold in January 2024 for about $2.15 million, yielding a profit of around $350,000. So after deducting the total rent paid, the actual profit stands at $75,800. Earning about $75,000 over 5 years might sound quite reasonable, but this could have been better managed if the rental amount is lower. This is where I sat down and strategized with him on all the other options. Now, let's look at second scenario. Now, we will be comparing on renting a 2-bedroom unit at 1 Amber, a 9-year-old condo, while buying a same 2-bedroom plus study unit at Amber Park. To reduce the rental, instead of yearly renewal, I suggest to sign a longer tenancy. For example, in this scenario, for the next 4 years, he could be paying $3,000 per month from May 2019 to April 2023 and $4,800 per month from May 2023 to January 2024. Despite the rise in rental price, this strategy could protect him from all these increases. Over the 5 years, the total rent paid was brought down to $187,200. Now, let's revisit the buying scenario. The two-bedroom plus study unit was purchased in May 2019 for about $1.8 million, was sold in January 2024 for about $2.15 million, yielding a profit of around $350,000. After deducting the total rent paid, the actual profit now stands at $161,000. So, with the right strategy, he could have saved $85,200 on the rent and increased his profit to $161,000. Isn't that great? And yes! This will put him in a better position. However, is this the best he can achieve? Let's look at third scenario. Similarly, we will be comparing on renting a two-bedroom unit in one Amber. However, this time round, putting aside his sentimental attachment in District 15, I suggest to stretch his every single dollar to buy the biggest unit he can afford, which was a four-bedroom unit at Riverfront Residence a new launch property in District 19, which was also priced at about $1.8 back in 2019. Following the good rental strategy from previous scenario, continue to sign longer tenancy to secure lower rent, paying $3,000 per month from May 2019 to April 2023, and $4,800 per month from May 2023 
to August 2023, over the last five years, the total rent paid amount to $163,200. Now, let's look at River Farm residence performance. This four-bedroom unit was bought in July 2019 for approximately $1.8 million and was sold in August 2023 for about $2.46 million, yielding a profit of around $690,000. After deducting all the rental paid, the actual profit stands at $526,800. This time, by stretching all his dollars and investing in a bigger unit, this increased his profit by threefold within the same time frame. This is because with consistent market growth across Singapore, a larger unit will always yield a greater amount. For example, an increase in 200 PSF for a two-bedroom size 742 square feet will give you a profit of 148,000. Whereas for a four-bedroom size 1,410 square feet will give you a profit of 282,000. From this three scenario, there are three main takes away. First, it is important to always rent a property that is in the same or lower price class compared to the one you purchase. Since rental and purchase price generally move in tandem, this prudent investment habit will prevent you from overextending your finances while maintaining your lifestyle. Second, staying attuned to the market situation can help you make sensible decisions and increase your chances of higher profit over the next five to 10 years. Lastly, Understand the goal of your property planning. Buyers often let their emotions influence their decision and therefore overlooking other opportunities. It is important to seek professional advice and assist you with your planning and executions. Feel free to reach out to me using the contact information below and I will be happy to discuss and assist you with your planning. Of course, this is not a one-size-fits-all solution and there are many other opportunities lie in the resale market as well. Do reach out to me if you are facing such dilemma and unsure of which is suitable for you at this moment. In my next video, I will be discussing the cost and risk of owning a new launch versus resale and which is a safer option in today's market. Stay tuned and I will see you soon. Bye!